So, what happens when a nonprofit that helps people with eating disorders fires all of their staff and replaces them with ChatGPT? I'll give you just a moment to guess. If you guess that everything went well, you're wrong. If you guessed that it was horrible, you're right. But there's a lot more to the story. And we'll talk about that and more right after we roll this beautiful bean footage. Welcome back to another episode of CX Riot Radio, where we talk about customer experience and stuff still in a hyper-caffeinated state. I'm David, the caffeinated CXO, and we're here, we being me, here to talk about, well, customer experience and stuff all in that hyper-caffeinated state. All right, so... Uh, before we start the episode, uh, we're going to uh, ask you to like, review, share, comment, blah, 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 so we can make the show grow, because that's what we want, right? And considering that we don't have, you know, sponsors or run ads or anything like that, we're going to need your help to reach more people. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We need your help. Help me. Help me. So, anyway. um, Happy summer. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. So, Americans. Fellow Americans. Let's do it up. Let's celebrate America's birthday in style. Yeah. Yeah. So, originally this episode was going to be about how uh, company... uh, Customer-facing companies, right? Retail other things like that, should be open on holidays, and it's dumb not to be, but I'm not going to talk about that. I'll talk about that in another episode. Now, just to get that out of the way, um, here here's my reasoning why, right? There, There's two. One is not everybody celebrates every holiday, and sometimes these uh, people still get the day off, and still from their office job, and they want to, uh, you know, do something, right? And on the flip side of that are the employees who, uh, let's face it, customer-facing roles usually don't pay that well, and you know what would help them out? Holiday pay. Time and a half. Yeah. And sometimes... Your employees don't celebrate the holiday either, right? Sometimes they don't really want that day off. So, and uh, to do that, you could always ask for volunteers. It's probably not going to be that busy anyway. So, you can have a slightly more than skeleton crew of volunteers who wanted the time and a half. It's fine. It's fine. It's uh, added revenue for your business, and it's extra pay for the people that want to work on that day. And the customers who, let, let's let say, they forgot to pick up a pack of hot dogs have somewhere to go. It's okay. It's all right. But we're not going to talk about that today. Today, we're going to talk about Tessa. Tessa was a chatbot that the National Eating Disorders Association, or Netta, um, put in place after firing all of their uh, staff, right? The uh, all of their forward-facing staff and volunteers, and um, yeah, they uh, put in a uh, a chatbot to help people with eating disorders. And I think you know 
I think you can imagine how it went. All right. Uh, let's see. So. There's an article on the New York Post, so take that as you will. Every single thing Tessa suggested were things that led to the development of my eating disorder, activist Sharon Maxwell wrote in an Instagram post. Um, yeah. So even though it was trained to address body image issues using therapeutic methods and uh, very, very, very limited responses, what it turned into was a, uh, a diet advice bot. It was uh, giving people who had eating disorders the advice to uh, count calories and have a 500 to 1,000 calorie deficit daily, right? Measure, weigh both food and themselves and restrict the diet, like, you know, which is uh, good advice for someone that's, uh, you know, trying to lose a few pounds and you know, needs to go on a diet because they're overweight through, uh, you know, maybe getting an office job, something like that. It's not really good advice for someone who has an eating disorder, right? Uh, there's a clear lack of empathy. And then uh, honestly, that other eating device, uh, advice, the, uh, 500 to a thousand calorie deficit, the, you know, weighing yourself and stuff. That's uh that's a Google search away. You don't need a chat off for that. Uh, if you do, then, uh, cool but it is what it is um now them letting go of their entire staff and replacing them with a chatbot comes at a very 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 silly time this was last year this was in 2023 but um so the funny thing is it just so happens that the timing of this is uh, right when the um, the staff of Netta decided to unionize. Weird. Um, here's a quote. Uh, we asked for adequate staffing and ongoing training to keep up with our changing and growing helpline and opportunities for promotion to grow within Netta. We didn't even ask for more money. Helpline associate and union member Abby Harper uh, said, uh, when Netta refused to recognize our union, we filed for an election with the National Labor Relations Board and uh, won. Then, four days after our election results were certified, all of us were told we were being let go and replaced by a chatbot. Uh, the union representing the fired worker said that a chatbot is no substitute for human empathy, and we believe that this decision will cause irreparable harm to the eating disorders community. Um, Maxwell, person from the beginning, seconded the sentiment, saying this robot causes harm. Um, so, and then it goes on that uh, the marketing vice president of Netta uh, did not believe Maxwell's allegations. She did not believe that the chatbot said what it said until Maxwell supplied the receipts. She had the screenshots. Whoa. So, uh, to, yeah, the screenshots are like very, very generic dieting advice if you need to lose like 20 pounds, right? So, um, and then <laughs> the CEO of Netta said, uh, with regard to the weight loss and calorie limiting feedback issued in a chat Monday, we are concerned and we are working with the technology team and the research team to investigate this further. That language is against our policies and core beliefs as an eating disorder organization. So far, more than 2,500 people have interacted with Tessa, and until Monday, we hadn't seen that kind of commentary or interaction. We've taken the program down temporarily until we can understand and fix the bug and triggers for that commentary. So, let's, uh, let's see. Does Neda still use Tessa? We're going to search that.
uh, yeah, looks like it's still down. Let's uh, take a look at these screenshots. Oh, not good. So, um, very funny that uh, it's 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 not back. By the way, uh, it's still there. Uh, it's still gone at <laughs> Neta. So, um, just goes to show. Um, very, very, very funny timing where, uh, you know, they, they got their union voted for, ratified, all that stuff. And then, eh, we're going to replace you with a chatbot. It's fine. And then the chatbot within, and, and here's the thing. It was within five days of them letting everybody go. The, uh, it didn't last a week, which is the most funny part, right? So. And remember where all the AI companies are saying, hey, don't replace your workers with AI. Enhance and augment your workers, your employees with AI. This is why. This is one of the reasons why, right? Um, especially in a situation, in a, in a uh, nonprofit as important and as sensitive as Netta. Why did they think it was a good idea? Whose idea was it? And are they still at the company or the nonprofit? That is something that is worth asking. What are the repercussions of doing something so utterly stupid and mean and thoughtless? Like, it's not even a good idea on paper. Someone suggesting that should have been laughed out of a meeting. And then reprimanded. And then m clarified that they weren't joking. Right? It sounds like someone just said it sarcastically. And then someone, probably in finance, was like, yeah, no, yeah let's do it. Let's do it. Let, let's, ooh, ooh, let's go. Right? It, it's crazy. I don't know. So that's today's episode. Don't replace your employees with an AI chatbot, especially if you care about um, the people using it. So, and if you're in an industry where people are calling in because they're in a panic or they're, uh, you know, they have feelings and they're not just asking simple questions. Don't replace all of your employees with a chatbot. I, I, I don't know how else to say that. So uh, that's it. I'll see you guys next time on CX Riot Radio. Have a good 4th of July.